hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel so today we are going to see uh, how to download and install various distributions of uh, uh, Hadoop so we do have Cloudera uh, which is the most popular then we do have Mapa distribution and then we do have uh, Hortonworks distribution so they provide for us all the developers their own uh, uh, VM so that we can download and install uh, in our personal laptop and uh, we can do uh, all the exercises or whatever um, so before that first and foremost thing we need is we need uh, either a VMware or we do need a VM box So we need to log in into VMware and just download the latest version of VMware. So after you download, you will be looking something like this, VMware Workstation 12. So this is what I have. So the other one is your VM box. So it will be something like this where I'm um, having uh, various uh, distributions. I do have Cloudera and Mapper and even I do have my Hortonworks. Uh, in my um, VM, I mean uh, Hortonworks uh, uh, VM where version of it. So, so I'm just canceling all those right now because I do have that. So we have to download uh, either of these two and uh, install it. So next uh, we will see how to. Uh, download from cloudera type cloudera cdh vm uh, we do have cdh 5.8 but uh, it doesn't have uh, it has only the docker image so we don't have a vm box or a vmware version so let us move on to the just the previous one cdh 5.7 which i do have in my machine so we do have both virtual box and vmware so you can select either of the one and if you click on download now after signing up you know um, it will allow you to download a huge file so after the download it will look like this so this is your virtual box which got downloaded and uh, this is what it is you know uh, after uh, you download it click on file import appliance and just select where it is and just pull it and click on next next it will automatically install your uh, vm i mean the cloudera vm in your oracle vm virtual box so after that click on start you my vm uh, i mean cloudera vm has started and uh, uh, so this is my home page where all the uh, this is the Cloudera manager. We can see all these things pretty later. So all my services are up and running. HDFS, Hive, Impala, OC, Spark, everything is up and running. So I have uh, installed my Cloudera VM where in my machine. So it is pretty straightforward. You can get the manuals from your, uh, you know, click on getting started and you do have all the information present and just follow these instructions and you can download your Cloudera CDH 5.7 and just install it. Uh, next we do have a Hortonworks Sandbox. So click on that. You can see, uh, <coughs> just click on download Sandbox of Hortonworks you do have a uh, you know version uh, 2.4 has been the latest version you do uh, you can also see that you can either download it for virtual box or vmware so you can download either of it and there is a virtual box installation guide and also vmware installation guide you can just see this and correspondingly either if you have your vmware workstation or your oracle virtual box either of that you can download your corresponding version and just import it so that uh, after importing and clicking on uh, start you could directly log into your 
virtual i mean uh, your uh, hot and works um, the vm sandbox and start doing all your exercises for practice next distribution is mapr they do provide uh, their own sandbox so you can see that there is a vmware and also for virtual box version and just download it and it will be in actually in gbs if you download either vmware or you know virtual box version it will be in either you know 5 gbs or 6 gbs so you, uh, it will be in you know, a pretty huge file and you need to just import it uh, one important thing is uh, you need at least 8 gb of ram allocated to this virtual virtual machine either, either of the distribution either it is clouder or hot and works or mapr you need to allocate minimum 8 gb if you see i have allocated 11.21 or 11.2 gb in my machine you can see i have allocated 11 uh, that is more than 11 gb or else you know uh, some services may fail you know here you can see all the services are up and running you know if it is not working properly something will be in red so that's one thing you need to do um, the other option you do have is uh, you can uh, create your own clusters in Amazon Web Services and that is being uh, you have to uh, actually spend some money on a monthly basis but anyhow uh, these VMs are actually free if you could see all these three VMs it is being free either Cloudera or Hortonworks they are you know giving it free for us so after downloading you can see uh, the VM gets downloaded it is you know close to 5 GB 5.1 GB for Cloudera Hortonworks VMware or Virtualworks it is 9 or 8 GB and again for MapR uh, it is 4 GB so you have to just import it into your VM box and click on start and uh, um, you can see your v uh, VM is up and running and you know after that just click on your consoles and just click and just work on it I'm going to work on uh, Cloudera going forward I'll be you know using Cloudera and uh, doing all the exercises so if you install Cloudera VM uh, it will be you know easy for you to follow my tutorial because all the exercises I'll be doing in Cloudera and I, uh, this is the OZ where you can see uh, it is the REST API uh, for uh, your Hadoop uh, ecosystem tools to uh, uh, you can see all the query editors like Hive, Impala, jQuery, Pig and data browsers, metastore tables and also you can see the file uh, structure everything it has a good uh, rest api to easily navigate and get all the information so i personally like cloudera you know more than hortonworks or mapper because they don't have a uh, inbuilt uh, uh, rest api support for other distributions so this is a team um, guys for this version of the video if you like please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much